Hello, and welcome to another Free Code session. My name is Jason Bach. I got to cut the grass today, and I want to do that before dinner, but I want to record this because I feel like this issue is actually almost close to being completely closed out. In fact, I think from a testing standpoint, it actually does what it's supposed to do. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. But there's a couple things I want to do. I'll get to this one actually last. This one is probably the most time just adding some tests. This one we just want to look for as ref like type, although I'm pretty sure we're okay with that. These things I think we can just remove. So let's try to get through all this in one stream. Recording, you know what I mean. So we want to see if we have something that's like is scoped. So we have some code and then the expected value. So we're going to get the parameter symbol and then we're going to see if is scoped is equal to what we expect. So in this case it would be false. If we say here scoped int a, would that be, first of all, is that valid code? <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, you can't say that can be used for refs and refs. So if we made this a ref, then that would be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. So we just make this a scope ref int. And then that should be true. And what are the other rules around it? So if it's a ref like and scoped span of int A, this should also be, because it's not params. So let's get rid of that. Let's put this one in here and let's say it's a scoped params which again, I'm not sure if that's actually valid. Let's find out. Can you say that here? You could say that this way, right? Yeah, that's actually fine, but not for params. Okay, so you couldn't, you wouldn't even run into this case. So I'm not really sure why I even have this here, but whatever, it's a, if it's a value type and it's a ref, yes, I think, let's see what this does. We need more tests around it, we can, but I wanna just have at least a couple. One failed, of course one failed. Which one failed? I bet it's this one. Yeah, so why did that fail? Well, it's because expected true, but was false. So let's see why. <laughs> so is it a ref like type? Oh, it's not. Really? Type is span of, oh, I know why, because it doesn't know, it's just some weird, we need to say using system. Now I bet it will work. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We need to make sure we're actually using the span type that it knows of. There we go. That's good enough for this. Okay. So ref like type, I'm really not too concerned about this one, but Let's just say if I find that is rough like type. It's probably a fair amount of them. That's just a copy method model. If return type is ref like type or it's a function pointer, I'm almost thinking that's not correct. Because if I look at this again, True if their type is ref like mean it follows to by ref variables. Ref like though doesn't mean ref struct. It's a ref like type. They commonly used ref like type. Is it because it's a ref struct or because you'd return it? Because this isn't the case, though we're not like method model. We're we're not even that's right. We don't even care about this. So I think that could go away. If it's a function pointer, then yes, we want to do this for some reason. I don't know why, I'm not quite sure about that. Parameter symbol extent, yeah, that's fine. And then properties, yep, that's okay. And that's okay. And that's okay, we've already checked that. Yep, I bet that's restruct. Okay, I guess I should really look at all these. That's okay. Whoops, come back up here. 
How many more do we have to go? That's good. That's good. That's good. 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 All right, so shut down start up again and let's see if the tests all pass. Okay, all the tests pass, well, three of them fail, but it's because for a return value of a ref-like type, we don't need to do that projected delegate anymore. It can just be the funk of that type and that works just fine. So I remove those tests and everything passes. The cogen test was just testing the .NET types that still has that one error, but that's completely unrelated. So I think that's good. So we'll say that is done. Okay. Now this one, so this one I'm not sure if we need anymore. Like it, it's for ref like type, but this is for the projected archetype builder. Let's leave that one. I'm almost positive that this one we can get rid of. Because that's not referenced anymore. That is, but it's referenced in here. <laughs> this one is, but we don't need it anymore. We could just do that. Ref like our type builder. Yoink! That's gone. And now that builds, so we're good there. So ref like our like ref like. I think I got tests around this, so I want to make sure I remove those. Ref like our type builder. Gone. Let's run the tests here and make sure this all works. Okay, they all pass. I would assume that the integration tests pass as well. Let's tackle this one because I got the feeling this one is actually not needed anymore. This is esoteric. Where are you? Here. Because this is now just is pointer. So we can get rid of this. And now wherever that was being called, <laughs> why do we get these really weird errors here? Let's just select this. It's just kind of a biz bizarre error. Like saying two, three, maybe I need to look at the output because, yeah, that's better. Okay, so what we want to say is, is pointer. And then let's go here, find that one, is pointer, and this one. So we don't even need that anymore. So we can take off his esoteric, build, find more errors because is pointer, okay? is pointer. <laughs> so we're replacing all these with is pointer. Thank you Visual Studio for picking up on what I need to do here. <laughs> but it's the right thing. We don't need any of this stuff though. If it's a pointer, this stuff, well, yeah, rough like arg projected evaluation delegate names. I don't even think we need those anymore. They're asserted, but that doesn't mean that we're actually using them anywhere anymore. They're all in tests. Yep, they're gone. We don't need those anymore. Okay, let's keep building. That builds. So now let's go into the tests and let's have it tell me what's not working here. Cause like we said, there's a couple things. Yep, these go, this goes. Ah, too much, too much, too much. I believe that one is esoteric. We don't need these cases anymore because it doesn't exist. And do we have tests for extensions for I type symbol is pointer? Yes, we do. So this can actually go. Let's do this again, say run tests. What still doesn't work anymore? These I think are the rest of them because these are there. Okay, run tests. Yep, it succeeds. Well, it builds, but whether the tests all pass or not is a different story. It does, if this all cleans up, it's actually kind of nice because just again, getting rid of little things here and there that we don't need to track anymore is nice. Okay, they all pass. 
I'm going to shut down startup again and run everything just to make sure we're still good. Okay, good, good, good. Um, we're removing code that is no longer necessary. I like that. The last thing here in the list is this rough like equality comparator. So let's see what happens if we remove this. So that means here we don't use it. Does that affect the tests in any way? They all pass. Shut down, start up again. Let's make sure everything works. Okay, we are good. We don't need this. <laughs> I don't know if we ever needed it, but we definitely don't need it now because everything passes as far as we can tell. Okay, so that's cool. The last thing I want to do, let's make sure we check that off of our list, is we want to capture that issue when we run this. I'm not going to fix it with this branch because I'm just improving the support for ref like types or ref structs. But I want to see what this is. So if we go to reflection emit field builder, okay, so then let's, are we in debug? We are. So let's come to the program and just do code. No, we don't want to keep commenting it. We want to do that. Not code, type. So the type we want to test is this. And it's so good that I don't have to worry about mapping things anymore. That's so much nicer. All right, and then if we go to test generator and we say, this is test generator, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go to generator. Let's just put in the two spots here because I don't remember which one it does. And then we'll do that. So we can take a look at what the code is. Oh, yeah, you can skip over all that. Okay, we do that. We say my code is this. Let's copy the value. Stop. Let's go into our code dump, put that in there so we can see all of the glory. We do that, that takes care of a lot. But then we start moving down into handler 14. What is wrong with handler 14? Handler 14, the type type reference may not be used as a type argument. <laughs> okay, well, I guess if there's something with a type reference, we can't use it now, can we? So if I go to the definition, it is a ref part, it's a ref struct are basically only ever seen on the call stack and in parameters. These are blob that must be dealt with by the compiler. So this feels like one of those don't ever mess with it. I vaguely remember if we go and say, let's find 14, set value direct. So if we go look at a field reference, because that's what this is, right? This is a field builder, I'm sorry. Okay. And let's go find set value direct. Are you on a field info? Are you on a member info? <laughs> Where are you? Because, again, if I look at 14, let's try to find where this is. So set value direct. Somewhere within here, it's on the base. But it doesn't really matter. We could have a test here that says, is there like a special types? I thought there was something that's like, you, you, we have a test here to say, if we run into any kind of, yes, yeah, special type tests. That's the analyzer. We want the generator tests. Sorry if you can hear my wife banging in the background with some stuff in her closet. She, she did all this stuff because she wants to put up shells in what she bought. I don't think what they're gonna, what's going to be put up there is going to be actually able to hold it. So I said, let's actually see if we can find like a shelf that we can put in there and that'll be more sturdy. And that's what we're going to end up doing. So now she's taking all this stuff off and we're going to put it up in one of our son's closets eventually. So she's making some noise in there. It happens. I think it's one of those things where, huh, this is interesting. I got to think about this for a second because we have an analyzer here that says, we cannot mock special type descriptors. So these are like rock value type, those types of things. So that's the descriptor, but what we're trying to find is 
Where is this being used within rocks? Rock analyzer. So that's a descriptor. We say create there with that. And none of that's really helpful. Like, are we ever actually, we have to be. Yeah, special types diagnostic. So if we say here, or type to mock is system type reference, then we can't do it. I'm curious just by doing that, what does that do? What did we just break? A single line, oh, oh, this is all of our mock code dump, okay. <laughs> well, it does get rid of half of them, which is interesting because, oh, that's right, it gets rid of half of them because, okay, so if we go look at the mock model here, and we, oh, if the type that we're given, yes, but we can't, oh, that's different, okay, okay. I think to fix it, let, let's do what I always do. Let's just throw in on one of these. Just pick one, doesn't matter. <laughs> we wanna say test public static async task G async because it's going to force me to do that. Okay, what we want to do is put in some code that's going to be I typed reference. So what we want to have is something that says, we don't care, use. We don't care. So we want to have a using rocks, using system. I believe it's typed reference value. We don't care, right? Let's do this. Do you know what that is? Uh, we want system. Uh, what is, what are you complaining about here? Oh my God, me being so picky. I wanna see what the error is. Typed reference, yes. And if I come into my code dump, I can say here where the error was and say, yes, it is definitely system.type reference. Let's make sure that we're doing that right and come back to this test and say we want system.type reference value. No, 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 not there. Oh, I was saying, okay, I know what I was doing wrong. I was uh, type referenced, I was putting a D at the end. So now if I take this, and I just plop it up to here, it should at least know what that is. Yeah, and that's fine. Describes objects, whatever. But we should not be allowing this. That's the problem. So if we say here now, var create generated code is equal to something, var make generated code is equal to something, and then we're gonna grab this, because we want to do this, and we're going to say that, that. Let's run this, let's get our two pieces of code. Okay, so this is the that. Oh, for God's sakes, just remember this. Why don't you remember? Oh, because I've been shutting down and start, starting up again, it doesn't remember that I want to do that. Okay, and then let's run it again. So let's get the make. Now we'll see what's wrong, I bet which it should say something like, if you use type reference, the type type reference cannot be used as a type argument. Okay, so that explains the error. So I'm going to make a issue with this. I'm gonna do that off camera because it doesn't need to be done here. But we'll handle this, so we may have to do something to say like, hey, if you ever run into, as you're going through these types, is if it runs into some kind of classifier for a type, not just like, it's not just like saying I'm trying to mock type reference, it's as a parameter. Using an enum or anything like that is fine, but I can't put that into a generic. So I can't use it as an argument and therefore I can't mock it. So I'll have to look at that later, but at least I have something that will reproduce it. But that's a separate issue and I'll deal with that in a different episode. I think though for this issue, it's pretty much done. So all I, the last thing I want to do here is in the change log is say changed, um, improved handling of ref struct 
types. So they were always supported, but now we have a better support. Now again, this also makes this if this feature sticks, this makes dot, rocks.net 9 something and this is a little tricky. This one's a little tough because if I merge this in, then that sticks me to ref structs and specifically the anti constraint. I would that's one thing I'm going to look at to say is there any hint that they might not be putting this into 9 because if they don't I'm going to have to I'm going to merge this into the 9 branch and then I'd have to essentially take out all the that stuff and if I keep adding on to it I can do that but that's a little dicey. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to have to uh think about that one just a little bit. But I do think I'm at the point with this feature, assuming that anti-constraints and allowing restructs actually goes into .NET 9, which at this point I'm pretty confident of, we can commit this and move on. Thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.